All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms, and data structures beta. Learn basic JavaScript by building a role playing game. Step 12. All right. So the variables we have assigned have all had values that are numbers, right? Uh, JavaScript has multiple different data types. The next one we're going to use is called the string, right? Uh, strings are used to store things like words or text, and strings are also surrounded with double quotes, single quotes, or backticks. And backticks are uh, to the left of the one key and right above the tab key. So it's this thing right here, right? Uh, so here's an example of declaring a variable with a string. We've got let developer equal Naomi, and then we've got these uh, quotation marks, pardon me, these quotation marks around it like that. Uh, we're going to assign the inventory variable to have the value of stick. Okay. So right after inventory and right before the, uh, what is it, the uh, semicolon, we're going to press equals, and then we'll have the double quotes, and we'll say stick. Now, like it says here, single quotes will work, but the thing is, and I've said, I think I said this in another video, uh, whenever we've got apostrophes like this, like it's sticks or something like, like if it was like uh, the sticks, the sticks bark or something, you know, whatever, whatever. <laughs> anyway, uh, whatever. So if we had, if we had these right here, what we would have to do, so you see this right here, you see this problem? What we would have to do is we would have to uh, cancel, we'd have to delineate this from these by putting this uh, backslash in front of it. And that just gets to be kind of annoying, you know? So if we just get into the habit of pressing, uh, what is it? You know, shift when we're pressing apostrophe, it'll uh, do that for us. I mean, it'll it'll save some trouble on down the road. And we don't want to get caught in a situation where we have to um, debug. And the only problem is we didn't escape a, a, an apostrophe. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's why we do it like this. So there's that. Let's check the code. Looks good. And submit it. All right. What? <laughs> now we're on to step 13. And... We'll see you next time.